Uh, okay, Mr. Mahdi, we can continue on our uh, second day, second lecture. It's the 7th of November, 2021. You may start. Okay. Thank, thank you very much. Uh, okay, now uh, the important things, how you can take decision if you find this situation, if the flag is fell, fell in. So in this situation, uh, arbiter must know what kind of material the other part or arbit players has. Depending on the material, you can take your decision if this is draw game or not. Okay. For example, <clears throat> in first one, king plus queen and king plus knight. And we have uh, uh, or king plus bishop. This is if, if the uh, flag fell. So this means the game is draw. Uh, as you know, for the, for the black, for the king, easy the, the, for, for the white, for example, white has a queen. And if flag is fell, okay, the other part, which the king with the knight cannot win because only have knight or he has only bishop. So bishop alone, so the king cannot give checkmate uh, and queen there. Even the knights alone uh, against queen cannot give checkmate for in this case will be uh, lost. So opponent material will be if, if the white, we consider on the left as white and the right is black. Uh, if the uh, platform for the white, so it, it will be draw. If fall for the uh, for the black, the white will win. So second one, king with the rock. White has king with the rock, and black king with the knight. In this case, once the flag fell, so immediately we give win for any part. White or black, we go to one point. So win for the opponent as the mate is possible. So we have possible mate. For with the knight, king or knight against king or rock can, can be uh, possible for checkmate. And so for king rock uh, with the king knight for a white, also possible win for that uh, we give win. And second, third one, king plus rock and king plus bishop, it will, it will be draw. If the flag fell, it will be draw. Uh, king plus knight, king plus knight, there is possibility for checkmate. So if the uh, flag fall for the uh, for the white, uh, black win. If the for black, white win. So even there we have winning here. Uh, <clears throat> king plus knight, king plus <coughs> bishop. There is winning position for both of them. There is winning position. In some case, there is winning position if we have king with the bishop against king of knights, uh, and anyone's flag fall will be win for other part. Uh, king plus bishop uh, plus uh, king plus knight, same thing as win, same thing. King plus bishop and king plus bishop, offside color. So an offside color, there's winning, but if the same color, it'd be draw. Then we have king plus bishop, a king plus bishop in the same color. It is sure it's draw. And last one, king plus queen plus pawn, king plus knight, or king plus bishop will be win. We will be win uh, for the opponent that pawn could be under promote. So pawn can be under promote. So in this case, if the uh, flag uh, fall, so it will be considered as a win for the opponent. And uh, now we start with the Article 9, which is the drone game. Okay. So drone game. Uh, Mr. Mahdi? Yes. Yeah, sorry. Just a notice uh, for the guys that uh, one of the days, maybe on Friday, uh, we will have uh, like an end game session uh, with some IM or GM to uh, speak about some cases which will help arbiters. To understand if the players are uh, really playing a series of uh, moves which will lead to a checkmate or they don't know any theory maybe it will lead uh, for some um, judgment good judgment for arbiters so that will be most probably on friday so uh, it is just regarding the end games which you spoke about okay, thank you okay, good. very good very good uh, okay now the drawing game 
the regulation of the event may be specified that players cannot offer or agree to the draw, whether in the less than a specified number of the move or at all, without the uh, consent of the arbiter. So as we say yesterday, so there must be agreement, must be a specified number, uh, 30 moves, 40 moves. So before 30 moves or before 40 moves, not allowed uh, offer or agreement for draw between uh, players. Uh, in Europe, I think they use 40 moves and other in Asian, we use 30 moves. So both is correct. And for kids, if the kids maybe you can use uh, 20 moves or 21, because you know, the kids always finish within half an hour, you see the tournament hall is empty because they're playing very fast. So for kids, a 30 move, if too much, you can uh, make it 20 moves. So, okay. Why we use uh, this figure specified number? Uh, to let player play games, uh, play moves. If you make uh, open, if there is no condition, no, no specified number, so after one move, they all offer draw, and after half an hour, nobody in the uh, venue. Why? Because uh, this condition is not helping. So we have to mention our regulation, tournament regulation, or in a technical meeting, we have uh, uh, mentioned that not allowed agreement of draw between players before 30 moves or 40 moves. So 40 moves or 30 moves of the black. So must black complete 30 moves. In this case, if someone's come before a specific number, so please, sorry, we not accept for draw, go and continue the game. Okay. Uh, arbiter has be care about this article, very, very, very article uh, of 9.1.1, clear to arbiter once he take the decision. And he has always a check score sheet. Uh, regulation said 30 more, but in the score sheet, both player sign it and score the result, draw, and both signed it, but they played only uh, 27 moves. Okay. My first question will be for the player, uh, how you draw? He said, if they said agreement, said, sorry, warning for both of you, cannot uh, agree before 30 according to regulation, please go and continue your game. So this is first one because they, uh, they, uh, they were against the uh, tournament regulation. The tournament regulation very clear said 30 moves, okay? This case happened uh, as yesterday I explained to you in one event in Dubai, two grandmaster uh, after 26 move, they signed the score sheet, uh, throw for both of them and leave the score sheet on the, on the table without even uh, inform the arbiter. So this cannot be, because always, if you, you want to leave the tournament hall, you have informed the arbiter. In any cases, if you lose, you draw, you withdraw, you have informed the arbiter. So uh, without that, uh, without informing, this uh, arbiter can give you punishment because will be uh, against, this will be like a poor sportman's, uh, sportsmanship. So um, arbiter can give a penalty of sanction to both of player. Okay, in, in some some place they give uh, both zero zero, and uh, depend on the arbiter, his decision is correct. And some arbiter kept warning, and uh, uh, some arbiter also maybe he said, okay, you both zero, and tomorrow I cannot pair both of you on, for next round. So we'll give two two sanction together. Or make them zero zero and second sanction was not play not allow them to play next round. Uh, so yeah, this is all according to Article twelve point nine. So you can use. Okay, um, I'm always saying uh, if arbiter observe a violation, he must always intervene immediately. Don't wait for a player to claim. So you can do yourself. Don't wait. Okay. I wait when the player said, okay, the arbiter happened this, this, this. 
Then I will intervene. No, you saw, you watch the game, you saw violation, you intervene immediately, don't wait. Uh, so you have also the check uh, for resign as uh, for a kids, if there is no proof, we have to continue. But uh, the adult one have a different type of resignation. But one type of resign is said by word, okay, I am resigned. This is resigned. This means he's resigned, finish the game. Then he cannot change his mind. No, sorry, uh, I have uh, checkmates. So, uh, okay. Uh, no, cannot say. If you said resign, that this will be fixed. Like uh, if offer your draw for opponent, said, okay, offer draw, the draw will stand until uh, opponent accept or not accept until he play move or not. So, uh, so cannot, if you said resign, it means you resign in the game immediately. Or maybe you can shake your hand uh, to the uh, opponent, reaching uh, out uh, your hand to, to the opponent, uh, saying, uh, so this in this case, meaning I resign. Or uh, signing in the score sheet, you write result, for example, zero one, and you sign in the result uh, score sheet and you mean, okay, I resign and not continue. Or otherwise, the knock over the king, knock over the king, and uh, this mean type of signal, okay, I am resigned, I will not continue. But don't leave the tournament hall, okay, your position is bad position, maybe you lose the game, uh, and suddenly you disappear from the tournament hall, you resign and go home without informing arbiter. Okay, in this case, arbiter can't penalty you uh, instead to be uh, zero and they give you another sanction, maybe not pair you for next round or maybe at the all, not pair you at the all, remaining round. So this is very bad. Always you have to inform arbiter what happened. Arbiter, like these two players, uh, they agree for draw and leave tournament hall without inform arbiter. Okay, why are you doing like this? I can I can give both a zero, but because this is invited uh, players from the organizer and they pay their ticket accommodation. For this reason, I give only one, uh, okay, because my decision is even correct because according to the article 12.9, any decision of nine uh, uh, article is correct. Okay, the, the, however, if the regulation of the event allow draw agreement, the following shall apply. A player wishing to offer a draw shall do so after having the mate. So before he pressed the clock, so, so he in his turn, he played the move on the board before the press the clocks, he offered to open and draw, draw, offer, draw, and now, turn to the opponent. opponent. Opponent can say, yes, I accept, so end the draw. This will be draw. Or can say, okay, let me see. Okay, offer still stand until uh, reply or answer from uh, opponent. He can answer by word yes, or he can answer by move. If he touch his piece of, of a move, uh, his piece, piece, one of the piece, this means, uh, he rejected, he, he not like to be draw, so uh, no draw. For in this case, uh, no draw, but uh, a player cannot uh, resign from that draw. He said, okay, no, I, I changed my mind. Uh, my game is winning. Uh, maybe I, I have made in one. Okay, sorry. Uh, okay, I can I can continue. So cannot, uh, the, the draw will be stand. So a player wishing to offer a draw shall do after having made a, a move on the chessboard and before pressing his clock, but after he's pressing the clock, no, cannot be. So before an offer at the, any other time during the play is still valid, but article 11.5 must be considered. So, it, uh, I cannot interrupt my opponent. Cannot always say it every time draw, 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 offer, draw, draw. How many times? Okay, I know that I know that laws of chess not not specify how many numbers we can offer draw. Nothing. So 
Now I am thinking of my proposal to the FIDA to change this article to make not more than two times during the game. Because really, more than two times will be uh, you are uh, interrupt and disturb the uh, disturb the player and uh, maybe make him nervous uh, every time uh, draw draw even my position is losing but to say only word draw okay according to the uh, current laws of chess <laughs> it's open many times but arbiter he has to take his decision not allowed to interrupt player so according to, to article uh, 12.9. He can give warning, can be sanctioned, give a minute, reduce minute or two minutes, or give to add uh, some minutes to the opponent. So always arbiter has this take decision and control not to disturb the player. So no condition can be attached to the offer. So even sometimes what happened, we uh, team competition and the club championship, we have board one, two, three, four. Okay, board one, offer, a draw to the opponent, opponent said, okay, if the board three draw, I will accept draw. So this is condition, it cannot be condition. Okay, if the board two draw, and uh, I will give you draw, we, we accept for draw. No, this is condition. This is not uh, it's forbidden to be like this, uh, according to the laws of chess. So no condition can be attached to the offer. Uh, in both cases, the offer cannot be withdrawn and remains valid until the opponents accept it. Accept is okay, or rejects. The reject can be, he played any move. When he touches his piece, the meaning he rejects. So reject it is by touching a piece with the uh, intention of the moving or capturing it or the game is concluded in some other way. So according to article 9.1.2.2, the offer of a draw shall be noted by each player on his score sheet with the simple equal. So always, so if you can see, we have two articles uh, saying about simple equal, must be recorded in the score sheet. So why? We as an arbiter not check this symbol. Why? When the two players coming, he said already uh, we agree for draw and offer draw, and already there are three, four repetition, and the uh, arbiter, okay, give him draw. But you have to check this symbol, this sign. Important to check because you have two articles uh, uh, talking about this symbol must be equal to the score sheet. This is very clear to me. And even clear for the uh, organizer or, or, or who making the bulletin of PGM file, you understand in, in this uh, move, it was offered draw. Um, 9.1.2.3, this is uh, about the uh, drawn game also. A claim of the draw under article uh, 9.2 and 3 shall be considered to be offered a draw, like offer the draw. So when you offer the draw, the, uh, so the opponent can accept or not accept, can accept, can reject. This is offer the draw. And uh, if the claim for draw, maybe it's happened, maybe players opponent, uh, opponent already played three for repetition and became the position as a draw. So now I claim to arbiter, arbiter, please, uh, last move of my opponent, they repeat the position three times. And in this case, okay, uh, I'm asking for draw. So request for draw and uh, arbiter can give it really the claim was correct. If the claim was not correct, they give two extra uh, minutes to the opponent. So we have article say two extra minute to opponent and two different situation in the illegal move and in the draw. If the claim is wrong, we get two extra minutes. For illegal move, it's the illegal move for first time, give two extra minutes. Only these two articles give two extra minutes to the opponent. Other article, other cases, we uh, use uh, according, the sanction will be according to the article 12.9. The game is drawn upon the correct claim by the player having the move when the same position for at least the third time and not necessary 
by repetition of moves. So three position repeat three times. When the position repeat three times, in this case, okay, we have to claim for draw. So it can be a re repetition uh, happen by opponent or by me. My last move I will play and this move will complete three time repetition. So here I can claim for a draw. So it's about to appear, Must, it's about appear. So when I play, this will be appear at three, four repetition. If he first writes his move, which cannot be changed. So if I, my, my turn, I wrote my move in the score sheet. I told this is the only expect, uh, exception one to write before play. So uh, player wrote his move in the score sheet and he called uh, arbiter. Arbiter, please, this move will be complete free for rotation. So I'm playing with draw. Okay, arbiter will check if really such as claim is correct, give, uh, take decision and announce the game is draw. And if it's a wrong claim, he give two extra minutes to the opponent and force him to play the move which is written in the score sheet. For example, as he wrote knight f3, he has to play knight f3. Cannot change this move because it's like touch move. You consider as a touch move. And has just operated uh, or just uh, appeared, appeared and the player cl claiming the draw has the move. So it's about appear or just appear. Just appear, appear from the opponent, last move, or will appear. This my move will case the three times uh, repetition. Position are considered the same if an only if the same player has the move pieces of the same kind and color occupy the same square and the posi possibility move of all the pieces of the both players are the same. So always must be same places in the, in the position. Uh, can I give you one example? Always I'm using this example. The example is example, I am, studying, for example, in the, in the college. I went to my classroom. When I went to the class, classroom, I saw five, six students sitting there, uh, same position. And I took photo for my camera. And it was, this is one reputation of the people who are sitting inside, same like position of chess pieces on the board. So this first copy. Then at the, after a while, I go outside, to the uh, classroom. I went for the washroom, for example, and come back. And during I'm outside, the student inside the classroom move. Uh, Mike go to the other uh, in the corner of the room. Uh, uh, for example, Muhammad go to the other. Ibrahim uh, talk to the Adam. Adam talk. So they moving inside the classroom. Same thing happened in the chessboard. Pieces moving inside the board. Once I come back, before I reach to the uh, classroom again, all students come back in the same position and same chair, same place. Same thing in the chessboard. All pieces, knight go to the knight of three, go back to the d4, king go there, go back. And at the end, all pieces come in the same position same color, same position. When I enter to the venue, I took another photo, another picture. So it was two copies similar. The third time, same thing, I go outside and people inside the venue move, go there, go there, um, and a white play this move and come back, play a knight, come back in same position, rope go there, king go there, queen go there. Then we are, when I reached the venue the third time, I saw same players, same color, same position on the board. And I took my third copy uh, photo. It was three, four repetition. Maybe happen after 10 moves, second time, maybe third time after, after 20 or 30 moves, but same position appear three times. And this is we call repetition, three, four repetition. And arbiter has to check score sheet 
if really is correct, then he can, can give a draw. If not, uh, give sanction and add to the opening to extra minute. I have example now I will show you in diagram. It was very clear how three for repetition happened. At the start of the uh, sequence, a pawn could have been captured in person. So if even we have to check when the three four repetition, three four repetition happened, a position repeated three times, we have to check first or second or third, if there is any, uh, any in percent or not during the, the position, because uh, if the first time was in, in person, the second position and third position cannot be in person, only one time, for that, the position will be different. So the repetition will be different, it will be not same repetition. Uh, a kind had castling right. So sometimes in the first copy, when I take a picture, and this time maybe uh, a player has a chance or have a, can do the castle with the right or left long castle or, or, or short castle, it's visible, available to do. But in second copy, uh, cannot. Why? Because in first one, king move. When the king moves, so not possible to make uh, castling in the future. For this means the first copy we deleted, we could not consider because uh, this uh, first one, so what possibility for, uh, for uh, castling, but second position, not possibility for castling. So always you have to check also, also for article 9.2.2.2, a king had castling right uh, with the rock that has not been moved, but for uh, this after moving. So the castling, Rights are loose only after the king or rock is moved. So we check also in the, our position and our photocopy uh, if there is a possibility for a, uh, for a castle or not. The game is drawn upon the correct claim by the player having the move. If he writes his move, which cannot be changed, so if I write this move, this will be repeat three times. So it cannot change on his score sheet and declares to the arbiter his intention to make this move, which will be result in the last 50 moves by each player having been made without the movement of the any pawn and without any capture. So what does what it mean? So uh, we have one time of uh, draw, once we played 50 moves, we play 50 moves without capture any pieces and without movement of the any pawn. In this case, when we reach 50 move, we have we, we have to claim for a draw. So arbiter has to check the score sheet, both score sheet, and be sure really within 50 moves of the black. They didn't move any pawn and didn't capture any pieces. In this case, immediately the game ended with a draw. But must be claimed from one of player. Okay, what about arbiter? Can intervene? No, arbiter can. If, if, if that happen, an arbiter observe and the 50 moves, he cannot inter intervene. And only players. When arbiter can intervene, when they reach 75 move, when they reach 75 move, in this case, arbiter immediately end the game and take decision, the game is drawn. The last 50 moves by each player have been completed without the movement of any pawn and without any capture. This is the condition. If there is no movement of the pawn within 50 moves, no capture any piece, in this case, we game will be drawn, but must one of player claim, not arbiter. Okay, now maybe someone said, okay, maybe they were in the time trouble and both are players not recording. How we know that they complete 50 moves or not? It's very easy. Okay, we said, this is arbiter job with, with both of player under pressure and time trouble, less than five minutes. So he has to record or ask for assistant to record. Otherwise, 
if this game already online broadcasting is using electronic board, so easy from electronic board and go to computer and check if the complete 50 moves uh, without uh, movement of pawn or without uh, capture any pieces. So it's really very clear for me. Or otherwise, we can go after flag fell, or we can arbiter can stop the clock and take both the player to the second uh, chess board and uh, check. Then check until they reach the final position and see if they really uh, complete 50 moves or not complete uh, 50 moves. So this is easy way can use and to find uh, about uh, uh, regarding the article 9.3.2. So in 9.4, if the players touch a piece, uh, according to the article four, as a touch move, he lose the right to claim a draw. So I, I offer draw to my opponent. Okay, the offer is stand until he said yes, or he touched the piece. If he touches the piece, so cannot be draw. And uh, if a player claim a draw under article 9.2 and 9.3, he or, or the arbiter shall stop the chess club. This meaning, uh, if the three, four reputation happen, uh, players has, has an authorized to stop the uh, clock in this case and uh, call arbiter for this. All arbiter, when the observe the game reached the 75 moves without movement of the pawn or capture. And in this case, arbiter has to intervene and stop the clock and announce for a draw. If the claim is found to be correct, the game is immediately drawn. If the claim is found to be incorrect, the arbiter shall add two minutes. So the sanction is here, two extra minutes to the opponent. So, uh, as I said, we have only two types or two articles saying about two extra minutes add to the opponent uh, and, and draw. If there is draw, claim of draw. If there is wrong claim, in this case, we add two extra minutes to open it. And other case for the illegal move. If there any illegal move happened during the game, so we add uh, two extra a minute to the opponent, uh, remaining time. Then the game shall continue if the claim was based on the, instead the move, this move must be made in accordance with the article three and article four. So we have two types. If one or both of the following accurate, then the game is drawn. So this is for arbiter. This is for arbiter. For the player, Player, they have two types of claiming draw. If the threefold reputation, threefold reputation accurate, so he can claim for draw. Or if they played 50 moves without capture of uh, any piece and without movement of pawn, in this case, they can claim for the draw. So this is two type for the player. But for the arbiters, they have another two type. For arbiter, no. Arbiter, when he observe and watch the game and accurate four, five times uh, repetition. In this case, immediately he will stop the game and uh, call for draw. So the same position if has happened a, a period, uh, according to article 9.2, at least five times for arbiter. So for player three times, for the arbiter five times, so in this case, arbiter will stop the game and call the game is drawn. Another one, any series of at least 75 moves. So for arbiter, he has, if the arbiter was observing the game and it was 50 moves, nobody claimed for draw, cannot intervene. He has to wait until 75 moves. One series, 75 moves have been made by the, each player without the movement of the, any pawn and without any capture of any pieces. If the last move result in checkmate, this is different. 
But if the 25 moves without any capturing, without any move of the uh, uh, pawn, this arbiter stop the game, announce draw. But if the last move was checkmate, the checkmate will stand. This happened one time in the one event, or last move, it was 50 moves. He played 50 moves uh, so without capturing and without uh, movement of pawn. Uh, he played, uh, for example, knight one piece and give checkmate to the opponent. The opponent said, no, this last move, repeating three time repetition, so I claim draw. Which one the correct? The correct is checkmate. So we see which action happened first. Checkmate, what first action or draw uh, was uh, first action. In this case was checkmate first. So checkmate first and cues of the checkmate and three, four repetitions. So we go for checkmate. So the result will be one zero. So uh, always we have seen the last move. If the last move is, is a legal move or not, maybe sometimes a player cheating the opponent, he played the illegal move and this illegal move is checkmate. And the opponent, says, oh, okay, he resigned because it was checkmate and he didn't uh, recognize it was illegal move. So illegal move was a first action. So if the arbiter there, arbiter has to give penalty to the player and give two extra minutes to the opponent because cannot give checkmate by illegal move. So always must be illegal move. Unless the regulation of an event uh, specified, otherwise a player who wins his game or wins by forfeit score, one point. So the, the points always must be one point, cannot be more than one point. So one, if the win, white win, you got one, will be one, zero. If black one will be zero, one. If draw, half, half. Cannot be uh, th one third and two third. Cannot be half and one point. Cannot be, always must be complete one point. So uh, in some cases, uh, if the uh, result was on the tournament, for example, one, zero for white. But it was some violation, it was some uh, problem. White with the opponent, maybe uh, he shot him, maybe uh, uh, tell some bad word to him, or maybe do something wrong. Okay, here arbiter consider to change the result from one zero and make zero one, or make zero half, for example. So he's changed the result, but always once you change the result, but not exceed of the one point, more than one point. Always must be one point, not more than one point. Uh, the players shall take no action that will bring the game of chess into uh, disrupt, disrupt the player. The playing venue is defined of the playing area. So we have playing venue and we have playing area. Okay. Uh, playing area, which the barrier will put around the table, and this place is playing area only allowed to enter players and arbiter, no more. So it will be chairs, will be table, will be clocks, will be chess equipment. And this place would be challenged between uh, players and this calling playing area. What's playing venue? Venue is it's, we have playing area, we have restroom, we have a bar, we have uh, uh, maybe sometimes uh, toilet inside the, the playing venue. So this is all considered as playing venue. The playing area is defined as the uh, place where the game of the competition are played. Only with the permission of the arbiter can the player leave the playing venue. So always there is permission. But there is one article, new article issue that players can leave the tournament hall without play his move. So always you say he has to play his move first, then take permission from arbiter. I want to go to toilet or go to little be out to have a drink or something. Permission of arbiter, but don't leave without permission. This you will you got penalized. Okay. If the player wants to go to a toilet, toilet, but 
still he didn't move. So he's turned. But in this case, Arbiter understood that the player may be sick, maybe he's diabetic, maybe he wants to go to the toilet because cannot wait, cannot think for the, his move. Okay, in this case, he's allowed to go. So the players having the move be allowed to leave the uh, playing area. So this is new article, 11.2.3.2. This is new article, so allowed. In this case, okay, allowed to leave a playing area uh, if we having the move. Uh, but in this case, we have since assistant arbiter, some arbiter to follow the player, see where he's going. If he's going to a toilet and you go to, to the, analyze room or speak with the friend or go to the car to see the laptop and mobile phone, we have to follow the player. And as we said yesterday, only we have few minutes to go and come back. So not reach more than two minutes, for example. So not to spend uh, uh, 10 minutes, five minutes, one hour inside the toilet. So this consider as cheating or doing something else. The players having the move be allowed to leave the playing area. A person who is neither a player, nor an arbiter, be allowed access to the playing area. So we said playing area, not allowed anybody enter, only arbiters and players. There is exception, must be permission from the arbiter, allowed, for example, VIP enter or some delegate just for a few minutes enter and go out. Uh, this permission of the arbiter. Not anybody enter, not allowed the coach enter, only if the team competition, the captain, team captain allowed to be uh, entered, such as just Olympia, the, the uh, continental championship for club and team. In this case, uh, the team consists of the uh, players and team, co team co captain. The team captain in this case allowed to be with the player, but from the behind, uh, from back, a player can watch the game. And in case, uh, 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 opponent offer the draw, the here player will call arbiter, arbiter, please, I want to uh, speak with my coach or with my team captain, but in front, in front of the arbiter and with the same language which the arbiter understand, he can play, uh, speak with the uh, coach or with the, with the team captain, said uh, my opponent uh, offering draw, shall I accept or not? No, turn of the team captain. He say, can say yes or not, nothing else. Cannot, cannot say, no, no, complete. You have winning position. Oh, completely. After one move, you have checkmate. No, cannot talk. Only he said yes or not, only, nothing else. This is, this is the duty of the team captain during the team competition. Or otherwise, opposite, maybe uh, a team captain wants to speak with his uh, player. So he will go to the um, arbiter. Arbiter, please, I want to speak with my uh, uh, player. So they will speak in the same language of the, uh, of the arbiter and in front of arbiter. He said, Mike, please offer draw. Oh, Mike, resign. So only this two way, two things can say, resign or accept or offer draw. So in this case, no a player can listen to the, the, the team captain said, okay, offer draw or resign from competition comes, no, I will continue. So he's up to player at the, at the end, this player's decision uh, and captain, team captain can force the player to continue or to resign or to offer the draw. But last decision is advisor, is like advisor, only advice player, okay, please, you can resign or offer draw uh, or accept draw. So other thing cannot uh, speak uh, regarding with the, with the player. A player leave the playing venue, the players having the move be allowed to leave the playing area. A person who is neither a player nor arbiter uh, be allowed access to the playing area. The regulation of an event may be specified that the opponent of the player having a move must report to the arbiter when he wished to leave the playing area. So now we have two, two 
two method. First one, players move. He wants to go to the toilet. Maybe uh, for reasonable, accept arbiter. Okay, give him permission, go. Or the player right move in the score sheet. He said, arbiter, this is my move, but I am in a hurry. I want to go to the toilet. And this case also accept. During a player, the players are forbidden to use any notice, sources or information or any devices or analyze any games or another chessboard. So forbidden. Any electronic devices forbidden to enter in the venue. Any uh, chess book, magazine, not allowed. Not allowed a player sitting by chair and watching the chess magazine or chess book because he can use, for example, opening something that just book as a kind of cheating. This is not allowed. And on the table of the players, not allowed anything will be only exception and only after permission of the arbiter can be coffee, tea, and water. And, and even the water not allowed to be on the table must be ground, the ground down, uh, not on the top of the table, and the table maybe allowed uh, only coffee. For, for World Cup Championship, we announced that uh, from beginning, uh, okay, you can go to the uh, bar, go to the, uh, the, the next room, there is a restroom, uh, you can uh, take your coffee, your coffee, tea, anything you want, but don't bring it on the table. You can drink there, after finish, come, play don't bring on the table okay we find we found that some players you bring in so we give we give them warning we announce not allowed why you bring so i remember uh, fabio caruana is playing in the board too and was in the stage and is very clear for everybody and world cup he was bringing the the uh, the coffee so immediately, and the arbiter was there, arbiter, much arbiter, telling nothing. Maybe more than 10 minutes, he was carrying the cup, drinking slowly, drinking the coffee. Arbiter not saying anything to the player. It's very shame because we announced for everybody not allowed. Why we get exception for Caruana? Then I spoke with the uh, Deputy Chief Arbiter, I told them, please go to them. I said, please, this is not allowed. Then Caruanas understand this against the, the regulation, tournament regulation, immediately he took the cup out. So don't be shame. You as an arbiter, don't be shame. Go, oh, this is grandmaster, or oh, I can this is champion, or oh, this is world champion. Cannot speak with them, tell them, please don't do like this. No, no, this is your job, this is your duty. You have to go, you have to tell them, please, this is not allowed. It's against regulation tournament regulation. So you have to be uh, straight, especially uh, you, have to, uh, you have to use your, 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 your um, authority, which is the uh, article 12.9. This is your authority to get warning, do anything, the player. Okay, then during the game, a player is forbidden to have any electronics devices, no mobile phone, no laptop, no iPad, not iPod, any electronic devices not allowed. But in some cases, players bring with him laptop and tournament hall, okay? He needs permission, must take permission from the arbiter because some, in some events, the organizer provide uh, boxes, provide special room, to keep uh, the, uh, the, the, the things, electronic and other things and the disc box and they give the given number. After they finish the game, the, they come back and take this token or number, give the person in charge and they give his things back. I remember in uh, Turkey, in, in Istanbul, Olympiad, Olympiad in, uh, in Istanbul, it was a very good system. And this first time I see this is system, they made many boxes, maybe thousand boxes they made, and uh, they charge one euro. Okay, any players have carry bag, suitcase, mobile, anything before enter the tournament, he has to keep in the, this box. So they give like a rent only for one dollar and they give the key. Though they, they put the things inside the box 
and the key the uh, lock locked the, the the box then they go to the tournament hall without carrying anything even the pen is not allowed even the watch not allowed watch mechanic mechanic watch or digital watch not allowed even the pen even the pen normal ball pen not allowed to enter the venue so you have to keep everything inside this book and it was really good system i saw in the Istanbul. i like it uh, so people use this same method and uh, some other countries some other clubs or federation who organ organize that such as a big event the big level high level event or grandmaster or masters or other they have provide the security people with the room special room and they collect this all things and put in the, this room and they give token or give the number after finish the game they come and took their things but in some place they don't have any of these uh, facilities no facilities okay what shall the player do he carrying laptop so in this case arbiter given permission to enter is the devices mobile inside the bag and this bag must be go in the venue in one corner far from the player but under responsibility of the player if any ring of mobile any notice any announce anything came from back he will lose the game immediately so in one event it was player accept and he keep his mobile inside the bag and arbiter said please switch off your mobile and check if there no alarm because even the you switch your mobile alarm is work and uh, he said no everything is okay nothing uh, okay i switched off okay then allowed arbiter to enter the his back inside the room uh, in the corner of the uh, of the venue suddenly we hear sound coming from the back like uh, alarm the fix alarm for sleeping i think alarm then uh, immediately we went and make him lose the game it was the game was winning position but okay this is regulation so he lose the game and we give the opponent one point and uh, arbiter given the another section sanction the warning him he said okay tomorrow we cannot pair you I said why he said because you again is we, we allowed you to enter but still you not follow the our regulation so you disrupt the people disrupt the players inside the venue by ringing your mobile phone so uh, this thing is forbidden so uh, the, the, during a game at players is forbidden to have any electronic devices not specifically approved by the arbiter so always you have to approve by arbiter even the approved by arbiter you have to be sure nothing no noise coming from your back however the regulation of the event may allow such device to be stored in the player's bag provided the device is completely switch it off okay you switch it off but it still can uh, announce uh, alarm work uh, because he fix uh, maybe maybe every day he wake up at 5 p.m uh, and fix the alarm but today 5 p.m he's in the tournament hall when you start tournament hall the alarm start working to make noise or so he lost the game this bug must be placed as agreed with the arbiter both players are forbidden to use this bug without permission of the arbiter so always we have permission from the arbiter if it is evident that the player has such as device on their person in the playing venue the player shall lose the game so i discover in the tournament hall one of the player enter device inside, inside the the venue or, in, or enter the his bag inside the venue inside the bag is the device but he didn't inform me i didn't take the permission for me for that i i make him lost and give the opponent one point so the opponent shall win the regulation of the event may be specified a different less than uh, civil uh, penalty so we can give more penalty maybe not only make him lose maybe the other penalty will be not to play for next round so it depends on the arbiter then we have 
The arbiter may require the player to allow his clothes, bag, other item or body to be inspected in the private. So if I want to inspect it, must be in private room. If the, the uh, men who so have to arbiter or other security, same gender, same sex, so be a check, inspect of the players. If the woman also bring one woman to a girl, take uh, the girl or a player to the private and uh, a check, inspect if they're carrying any uh, devices or not. So the arbiter or person authorized by the arbiter shall inspect the player and shall be of the same gender as the player if same gender, as I said, if the, the boy, uh, man must be man, if the woman must be woman. Refuse to cooperate. If the players refuse, no, sorry, don't check. I'm not allowed to check. So if refuse to cooperate and to check with this obligation, the arbiter shall take me measures in accordance with the Article 12.9. He can make him lose. He can make uh, him not play next round and make him maybe uh, other sanction, maybe uh, uh, give them uh, finance. Uh, uh, so, so according to 12.9, so he, have, he has nine sanction, he can use one or more than one sanction, give the uh, same player. Smoking, including e-cigarette, electronic cigarette not allowed, so permitted. No electronic. Um, this is also, it was in Istanbul also. Uh, I was a sector arbiter in the main section. And uh, one of the uh, player was uh, keeping the cigarette in the, in the air. It was uh, always using and uh, carrying the signal, the uh, cigarette. Uh, I told them, sorry, this is not allowed. Why you bring cigarette? He said, no, I am not smoking. He said, I was a smoker and doctor advised me to carry this kind of cigarette, electronic cigarette, just to feel I am a smoke. I am actually not a smoker. I, I, I was a smoker, but I stopped smoking, but I have to carry this one, uh, electronic uh, cigarette. It was very uh, strange uh, reason. Then I said, no, sorry, I not accept. You have to uh, take it out or give your other, uh, your team captain another one, but not keep it with you. So this is, Permitted only in the section of the venue uh, designated by the arbiter, not allowed. Outside go, it's okay. I'm not care about outside, but the place in the venue, in the analyze room, the toilet, and other part, so cannot use this type of uh, cigarette, electronic cigarette. And then a uh, players who have finished their game shall be considered to be spectator. Okay. This is very important point, 11.4, why? If the players in the venue, for example, he did the stupid things, uh, he give information to the other player, in this case, he will lose the game and arbiter will uh, let him go out the, the tournament hall and fire him and maybe for next round not pair because he's the player, but, once he finished the game, he became the spectator. The spectator penalty is different from the player penalty. So in this spectator, if one spectator talk to the other players or give information to the player, in this case, nothing happened to the, the, to the game, but the spectator must leave the tournament hall and maybe at all, all, all event, all rounds cannot enter that tournament hall for a spectator. Well, that's important. We know who was giving information to the player, spectator, or any player still his game is running. This is very important for that. According to the Article 11.4, we can't take our decision. Article 11.5, it is forbidden to distract or annoy the opponent in any manner whatsoever. For example, I am I, I, I'm eating some I, I onion, already I ate onion. I have bad smell in my mouth so every time I say, <sighs> so bad smell come to the face with the opening, I disturb all. I am shaking the table 
I was shaking the, 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 the chair, make sound, tick, tick, tick. So you are make uh, opponent uh, nervous. So in this case, you distract the, the players and arbiter has to take uh, penalty, penalize you and give sanction to you. Uh, to don't make uh, repeat next time you lose the game or withdraw from tournament. And this include the unreasonable claims. Even the claim, if always said draw, 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 and this unreasonable, so even arbiter can take uh, sanction. And uh, also uh, of uh, reasonable offer of the draw or the introduction of any sources of noise, any noise is coming. So um, in this case, arbiter penalize you. And uh, also we have 11.6. Uh, infraction of any part of the article 11.1 and until 11.5 shall lead to penalize accordance with the article 12.9. So we always, the sanction which we use uh, is article 12.9. Only for illegal move, we give two extra minutes and for wrong claim uh, draw, we give two extra minutes. Otherwise we use article 12.9 and give sanction to the player. Um, present uh, refused by the player to compl uh, comply uh, with the laws of chess shall be penalized. So if I said to player, please complete your move, uh, he said, no, I cannot, I am time trouble. So in this case, according to 11.7, we can penalize the, the player. The arbiter shall decide the score of the opponent. Okay, in this case, okay, when I penalize the player, for example, I make the player uh, lose the game. He was winning position. I make him lose the game. Then we see the opponent. If the opponent has uh, material, he can checkmate, uh, give to checkmate the player. So in this case, we give one point. If not, so we give half point. So the result will be half and zero. So we penalize the player, we give one zero. And uh, for opponents, we see, according to the situation and the position. In this case, we can give one point or give, can give half point. Maybe king alone, there is no material to give checkmate. So in this case, I give half point. So the result will be half and zero. If both players are found guilty, so in this case, we give zero, zero. So uh, like uh, both of player uh, sign in a score sheet and uh, uh, keep the result drawn and uh, they are, Resign and leave the tournament hall before uh, inform the arbiter. And this time, arbiter can use Article 11.8 and give both zero. Or otherwise, you can use Article 12.9 that give warning. Uh, a player shall have the right to request from the arbiter an explanation of particular points in the laws of chess. Okay, this this is very clear. And uh, maybe, in, in, as I said, in the technical, uh, before start the, the round, first round, we have technical meeting with the players, explain all regulation, everything, explain if there is a, a offer draw, agreement draw, 30 move, and there is time delay and other, all details we explain in a technical uh, meeting, meeting or, or in the regulation, tournament regulation must function, okay. This player, he came late, he, he didn't attend in the technical meeting, so he doesn't know uh, what rules said about the agreement, draw agreement, or what say about the delay, time delay or other, and nothing. So in this case, he asking the arbiter, okay, arbiter, uh, what about uh, draw agreement? Uh, how many moves? In this case, arbiter must answer because this is the rule before uh, this is before in this article was nothing mentioned so i said he not answering to the player please continue he said please continue after the round i will explain to you this is what the answer of arbiter but now the article this article no you must answer to player said no uh, according to your question yes you have to complete uh, 30 moves then you can offer or agree Agree agreement for draw. So unless the regulation of the event specify, otherwise a player may appeal against any decision of the arbiter. So in this case, I have, I got the wrong decision. Arbiter give the wrong decision. You make me lose or draw. My position was winning. I must win. 
but because of wrong decision of arbiter of, of his assistant, so I have to go to the appeal. When you go to the appeal, according to the regulation, for each tournament is different. And some tournaments said after one, within one hour after finish the round. Some said no, within 15 minutes after, some said no, 24 hours for team competition, you can, you can uh, claim. So it depends uh, when, uh, how long, half the time to go for protest to uh, against the uh, result, against the decision of the arbiter or assistant arbiter. So in this case, you have a uh, right on the sheet of paper and uh, provide a submit of transfer fees or protest to the organizer. And uh, once the condition will be complete, in this case, uh, the appeals committee member uh, set for the meeting, discuss uh, for this case, and then we see your right to give you money back and uh, take the decision to continue the game or give you point. Uh, if the claim was wrong, process was wrong, and this you will lose your money, and the, the result will stand. Checking three time uh, occurrence of the opposition or 50 moves claim is duty of the players, not arbiter. Arbiter only supervision of the, will be under supervision only. So uh, when we claim checking for three for repetition, first of all, all ask the opponent. If the opponent have three for repetition, came to the arbiter, arbiter three times position occurrence, the position or 50 moves is complete. So in this case, first of all, you ask opponent, are you agree? If he said, yes, agree, so give draw, finish. Don't take two players to the second board and analyze. Don't spend time. Just tell the opponent, you agree. If he said, yes, I am agree, so finish. If he said, no, it's not happened. So in this case, I go for second. Uh, in, uh, in Baku, I was a deputy chief arbiter in, uh, in the women's section. I was in the men's section, deputy chief arbiter. And, 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 and we have the, the parts of the whole, we have anal analyzed, like analyze the game, such as three for reputation. And other, we came, uh, players coming with the arbiter and checking this board if really it was a three or four reputation. And uh, I found two women grandmaster coming, uh, Judith Pulgar and uh, with other grandmaster, uh, I think from, uh, I think Krono Hampi from, uh, from India. So I saw the walking long distance come to the, my area to analyze. And I know her very well, Judith Pulgar. I said to Judith, what happened? I said, see, the three for repetition and arbiter took us from the long distance, maybe two minutes walk and come to main section to analyze. First of all, I asked an uh, opponent, are you agree for draw? He said, yes, he said, oh, finish, finish. No need to analyze. Then I claim and punch the arbiter, why you do this? You ask the player opponent first. If he said, yes, I agree, so finish. No need to bring them uh, to walk and go and analyze. Why? It is a very old system. You have to ask. Then immediately ended with a draw and I blame the arbiter. I told them, don't use this uh, method next time you have a big care, especially with the grandmaster, especially woman grandmaster or grandmaster because they are professional player and professional pl player, they know more than me and you. They know their, this is their position, their game. They know if this draw or not. So first of all, ask the opponent. Is it draw or not? Are, are you agree? He said, yes, finish. So no need to go and analyze and check. So a player shall have the right to request from the arbiter an explanation. And both players must assess the arbiter in any situation required. So like uh, chicken three times uh, repetition or position or 50 moves. So last article. An important article, this is the role of the arbiter and this is 
important of the article must arbiter knows. I think I explained the role of arbiter in the beginning, but I am not care about this, but I, I will important for me to show you this one. Article 12.9. This is the sanction which we can use for our uh, to penalize players. So we have article point uh, 12.9 was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine articles, starting with a warning and ending with the explosion from the competition. So warning, always you can use in any cases, uh, such as I use it for the two grandmaster, I start with a warning because what two grandmaster got invited. And the second warning, increasing the remaining time of the opponent. So if we find the opponent uh, disrupt the uh, players, disrupt the opponent, make noise. So in this case, I decide to uh, add uh, time, one minute or two minutes to the opponent remaining time. Then we have reducing remaining time from the offending player. So the guilty player, in this case, I reduce one or two minutes. So I have a choice. So I can take my decision. I shall increase or, or uh, decrease or reduce. The uh, laws is just nothing said which one I use. I, they, they give me nine. So from nine, I can use anyone. I can reduce, I can increase, it's up to me. But for the illegal move, I have to uh, add two extra minutes. For wrong claim draw, add two extra minutes. But when we use 12.9, this is up to arbiter. Each arbiter different from others. We can, we can start a warning, increasing the remaining, reducing the remaining time, increasing the point score in the game by the opponent to the maximum available for that game, which is one point. This is maximum, one point. I give the example, the one player, he loses the game, but because of bad behavior, because of uh, wrong thing or guilty of the opponent, the arbiter decide and take decision to change the result and increase from zero to half point or from zero to one point. This meaning increase the, the points score. So maximum one cannot be uh, one, one, cannot be half and one, so maximum one. So same thing, we have reducing the point score in the game by the offending person. So White was winning, he, he won one zero, but here because of the wrong things, uh, arbiter penalize him, give penalty and reduce, make from one point to zero points. So he reduced the point score from the player. And declaring the game to be lost by offending player. So in this case, arbiter shall decide the opponent score. So in this case, as I give you an example, and give uh, reduce the point from one, they make zero, and zero for opening give half point or one point. So um, it became zero half or zero one. Then we have announce fine in advance. So in advance, we have announce and technical meeting. Those for the mobile phone or any electronic devices is not allowed to bring in the venue. In case we find that inside the venue, a player will lose the game and he has to pay a fine, 500 US dollar. This is for example, 500, 200 euro and so on. So this is two sanction. So in, we have to use and we have to mention our regulation. So in this case, when we find any player insert devices, any electronic device inside the tournament hall, we follow the regulation. First of all, he will lose the game. Second, he has to pay a fine 200 euros because he entered the uh, electronic device inside the tournament hall without permission of the arbiter. So we have, this is, must be announced in advance. If not announced in advance, so cannot use this article. Then we have article 12.9.8, exclusion from the one or more rounds. So, okay, arbiter decide. Okay, and instead to be two sanction, we give third one. The same 
Third one, excluded from the one or more round. Okay, next round, we are in the round four. We make him lose. So in round five, he cannot pair. So we cannot pair him for round five, or maybe round five and six not pair him. So according to 12.9, this authority of the arbiter can take this decision. The last one, expulsion from the competition, this will be by organizer. So arbiter has to write his report to organizer. Okay, this guy is against the regulation, the tournament regulation. Uh, he's against the tor uh, feed laws of chess. So my opinion, to so explosion. Then the com then the, the the organizer decide to explosion from the competition, and this all uh, nine articles belong the uh, arbiter and authorized to give one or more than one sanction to the guilty uh, players. So this is all things, and tomorrow we will speak about rapid chess and uh, blitz chess. And we give you some uh, cases. And before and before we leave, I I, I want to share with you one situation uh, with the uh, time uh, repetition. Okay. Three time repetition example. Can you see? You can see my data show? Yes, 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 yes we see. Okay, this is example. Three, three times repetition or three position repeated three times. And first one, as you seen, it played knight e3. Then in second, is, 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 uh, this is first, first copy of position. The second copy, second repetition of the, the, the position, he played knight d4, then rook g1, then knight c6, then rook h1. The position repeat second time. So second time, same as first one. Then continue the game after 12 moves, play knight d4, rook g1, knight c6, rook h1. So same position happen after a while, repeat three times. If the players come to you, you said, okay, arbiter, I have three for repetition. No, I claim for draw. What shall you do? You have to check first. I, th I told you, you have to check two things. If there is possibility for castling or not, if there is possibility for 8% or not. So in this case, if we seen in the first diagram, there's possibility for the white make cast castling in the right side or left side. Is it correct? I'm correct or not? There's possibility. And second position, no. Why no? Because in, in, in second position, already Rook played after knight d4, Rook g1. So he played Rook g1. So the Rook moved from uh, uh, from H to G1. So here cannot go for castling. So facilities an option for castling, not. In the first position, yes. In second position, no, because already rock moved. Uh, uh, we said if the rock move or the king move, so no castle in the future. So so we don't have this is a procedure or to this facilities for the a possibility for the uh, castling in second position. In third position, same thing, no, no possibility for the castling on the right side because already a rock is moved. So second and third only became two repeating position, not third. So first one, not considered because in first one, there were uh, legally possible uh, to go for castling the right side. But in second position and third position, no, cannot go white for right uh, castle, short castle, because already in first position, he has right, then he moved the rock. When, once you move your rock, uh, you cannot go for the castling. So this, I think, must be clear 
to you how three for repetition repeating. So same position, no? Repeating four times, not three times, but four times. So we said first time there's possibility for, for castling. Then second and third, not possibility because already rocks move. But in third time, uh, appear. Uh, four times appear. So now we delete first, first position. They count from second one, one, two, three. Now we can say yes, now it's draw. So after four became draw, but uh, without four position, four diagram cannot be draw. So arbiter not accept the claim will be wrong. They will uh, give penal, penalize the player, give two extra minutes to the opponent. But if he come after four disposition, so first one not consider because first one, the first one was possible to draw. So and other three not possible. Uh, sorry, first one was possible for the castling, short castle, but second and third and fourth not possible for castling. But it's repeat. It's three uh, diagram repeat after second one. So in this case, okay, now we allowed we give a uh, draw for the player. So this is example of the three four repetition. And after that, we have. Even we have this, this situation, if the arbit players come to you, arbiter, I have three, four reputation, three position, and we have to check. If we can find here, there is possible for in person because white played B2 to B4. When you play B4, B2 to B4, so there is a facility and there is chance of black can capture the pawn by E percent. But in second diagram and third diagram, there's no chance because you have only one time, same time, same move you have to uh, capture by E percent. If you not capture, the position will be stunned, but no, not possibility to capture on the future. So we go for the second uh, position diagram and third diagram. So our calculation will be only two times repetition, not three times repetition. So refuse, reject the claim, the player, the sorry, claim is rejected because the first uh, one, uh, you had uh, uh, possibility to the uh, capture, it was E percent, but in the uh, second and third, there is no E percent. So we consider as two times Repetition, not three time repetition. So the claim reject and we give extra two minutes to the opponent. So this is the example of three for repetition. Uh, so thank you very much for listening. Okay, I know uh, we today we took a long time, uh, but uh, I want to give you many information as I can to explain. Thanks a lot. Uh, thank you, uh, Mr. Mahdi. Uh, I think uh, this is the end of today's, right? Yeah, already with uh, midnight uh, in Dubai. Yeah, 20 okay. past so, 12. <laughs> yeah, so we will open the opportunity now for uh, any guys who wants to ask. Yeah, yes. I think everybody said goodbye. They want to go sleep uh, very late for some countries and very early for some country. So I think it's okay. And tomorrow, um, be ready for uh, Blitz and uh, Rabbit Chess uh, tournament game. And uh, we see the differences between the standard chess and Blitz and Rabbit. What's different? Different by time control, different by, by sanction, uh, legal move, and uh, we, we, com we compare between three types of game. Uh, then they will give example and we give some cases which uh, seem like exam cases. So how we can solve these cases uh, that come to the exam. So we understand how to answer that these cases. So we'll provide for you many things for tomorrow. I think tomorrow will be, uh, that will be interesting uh, day. Okay, so uh, anyone wants to say anything before we 
close our meeting today. No questions on chat? I think uh, I think there's nothing. Yes, okay, see you tomorrow. Thank you very much. Okay. So see you tomorrow at the same time. And uh, thank you, uh, Mr. Mahdi. And if there is anything uh, people want to ask uh, technically or from uh, any point of view, then we have the WhatsApp group. Uh, so best wishes and enjoy your day and enjoy your night. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.